So you're going to need a sonar tube, and you're pretty much going to cover with great stuff. And here I've got um, a top view picture of the PVC pipe I've got running through the sonar tube. And then a couple, a bolt on each side, just tightening it down to the wood. And here's a diagram I drew out. The red is basically the screw on each side. And then the middle circle is the PVC pipe running through the whole thing. And then the outside circle is the sono tube. And then there's two pieces of wood running parallel to each other that the red screws are going through. And then here is the carriage I've got going on. Pretty basic. I just got some scrap wood that I had lying around. Just bulked it out pretty much. Some close-up pictures of how I screwed everything in. Then I just took some more scrap wood, of plywood, and cut out the basic shape. I used a uh, compass to get the circles nice and straight so it would, the, uh, the tube would fit in there nicely. Just used the jigsaw to cut out the uh, two sides. And then two smaller circles for the big um, size of the tube to go through. And just some pictures of how I painted it. Just some black, white, and gray spray paint. I didn't add too much to it because it's going to be pretty dark so no one will really be able to see it. You can add more detail if you'd like to. And then so here I covered it with copper insulation piping. Just got it at Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot too. Pretty much anywhere hardware store has it. And then painted the whole thing black. I added, I just took a piece of like one and a half inch foam, cut out a circle up here at the top, and carved it so it had like a uh, curved edge at the top. And then down at the very bottom, you can see that black pipe coming out of there next to the duct tape roll. And what I did is I just cut a hole in the sono tube and then a hole in the PVC. And then I took that elbow piece right next to it and put it inside the PVC inside so the fog can travel up through the bottom of the pipe into the elbow piece and then out the tube to the top. And there's just the close-up of the piece I used. Here's a diagram of what it looks like. You got the sono tube and then the PVC pipe on the inside of the sono tube and then you got the elbow piece and connected to the piece going out of the sonar tube into the smoke machine and that's just your plug and then your button. Um, just close up of the technique. I just duct taped it pretty much pretty um, nothing nothing complex at all. And here you can see that elbow piece going up through the up through the PVC pipe and how I did I just cut the, the wood pieces at an angle and then r ran the bolts through it and then some put some nuts on the end so and there's the smoke machine I'm trying to figure out how to hook everything up so I've got the smoke machine right here and then here's the whole thing I just added some um, smaller diameter PVC pipe for the two things that went in those holes we cut out with the jigsaw earlier and those just go inside the hole and until they hit the PVC, I didn't glue them in there or anything, cause I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't really necessary. Close up of the great stuff I put on there, and with the great stuff, I just took like, put my hand inside of a plastic bag so they wouldn't get covered in the great stuff, and just padded the, uh, padded the great stuff so it wouldn't expand as much. It would look look more like um, like a cannon. Just um, more pictures of it. And then I got these sound activated lights off Amazon. And um, what it does is when it hears, so when the um, the uh, cannon sound, the explosion goes off, the lights will turn on for the amount of, for as long as the sound is, and then they'll go off. And I'll put a link to that in the description. Here I just cut a hole in the bottom of the PVC. Because uh, moisture collects in the tube, so I had I would didn't want the uh, uh, the uh, battery pack being up in the tube, so I cut a hole through there, 
so it would sit in the cylinder tube where it's dry. And here I can I just took a Tupperware bowl and spray painted it black and gray and a little bit of white and brown and just put it on the end. I didn't glue it on or anything because if I needed to get inside that would be easier. And then here's just the whole thing again. So that's pretty much it. Have any questions? Feel free to post them in the comments.